I welcome all of you to the YouTube channel of SRT. Today again, I am here to continue with the hot topic under discussion these days. That is your omitted portion for SSE board exam. So today I will be talking about geometry. Chalo, let's start. Okay students, let's begin with uh, whatever portion is being omitted in geometry. I will show you the pictures of the textbook. Okay, see to it that you have your textbook and a pencil with you so that even you can mark the things along with the entire video. Whatever I am going to discuss today, it is applicable only for the academic year 2020-21. It is not applicable for any of the further years. This is for SSE Maharashtra Board Standard 10. Let's start with the first chapter. Now, first chapter similarity directly come to page number 8. Now on page number 8, bottom of the page you will see property of angle bisector of a triangle. That entire property is omitted. So page number 8, as you all can see in the image, you all can cross out the bottom part of the page and entire page number 9 is omitted. Then page number 10, property of intercepts on three parallel lines, okay, that entire property is omitted. So page number 10, you can strike out that entire property. On page number 11, there are two questions based on angle bisector theorem and property of intercepts of three parallel lines. That is the third one and the fourth one on page number 11, you can strike it out. Continuing with the chapter on page number 12, second solved example, you can strike out also the activity which is given at the bottom of page number 12, you can strike out on page number 13, top of the page, you can cancel out that activity, then practice set 1.2, entire question number 1 is omitted, question number 1, subpart 1, subpart 2, subpart 3, all the three questions are omitted over there. Then come to page number 14. On page number 14, question number 3 at the top of the page and question number 5, 6 and 7 are omitted. They are based on either angle bisector property or property of intercepts of three parallel lines. Continuing with that, on page number 15, top of the page, question number 8 and question number 9 you can strike out. Bottom of the page, question number 11 you can strike it out. On page number 28, you can strike out question number 8 and question number 9. And on page number 29, you can strike out question number 10. So these are the omitted portion in chapter number 1, similarity. Now if I want to summarize everything from this chapter, following concepts and related sums are omitted. Angle bisector theorem and all the sums based on angle bisector theorem are omitted and you don't have property of intercepts of three parallel lines and the corresponding sums. Clear with chapter number one? Now let's go to chapter number two. Chapter number two, Pythagoras theorem directly come to page number 40. On page number 40, you will see application of Pythagoras theorem that is omitted. On page number 41, Apollonius theorem is also omitted. Entire page number 42 is omitted. Then page number 43, entire practice set 1.2, sorry, 2.2 is omitted. Practice set 2.2 is based on either application of Pythagoras theorem or Apollonius, theor Apollonius theorem. You have sums based on these two things. Since those properties or theorems are omitted, the entire practice set 2.2 is also omitted. Then come to page number 44 in your textbook. On your page number 44, bottom of the page, question number 6 is omitted. Then on page number 45, question number 8 and question number 9 is omitted. Also question number 12 is omitted. Then come to page number 46, question number 17 and question number 18. Those two questions are based on Apollonius theorem and hence they are omitted. 
so if i want to give you the summary of chapter number 2 it goes this way from this chapter following concepts and related sums are omitted application of pythagoras theorem you all are not having you all don't have apollonius theorem and hence entire practice set 2.2 is omitted not only practice set 2.2 but the solved examples and sums in the problem set which are based on pythagoras theorem and apollonius theorem sorry application of pythagoras theorem and apollonius theorem are omitted let's go ahead in chapter number 3 circle directly come to page number 75 on page number 75 you will see theorem of angle between tangent and secant that entire theorem is omitted then as it is written over here from page number 76 to page number 82 all these pages are omitted and hence you may strike out all the pages from page number 76 up till page number 82 including page number 76 and page number 82 now as far as the sums that are concerned page number 83 we start with problem set 3 now on pro in problem set 3 on page number 83 mcq question number let me check that ha huh. question number 7 question number 7 is omitted then on page number 87 top of the page question 13 and bottom of the page question 15 are omitted on page number 88 question number 16 and question number 18 are omitted and on page number 89 question number 22 is omitted then on page number 90 you do not have question number 24 so if i want to summarize everything in this particular chapter following things or concepts are omitted theorem of angle between tangent and secant then converse of theorem of angle between tangent and secant theorem on internal division of chord theorem of external division of chord tangent secant theorem all these properties and theorems are omitted and hence your entire practice set 3.5 is omitted 3.5 is based on the theorems that are written over here in the omitted section and also the sums which are based on these theorems in your problem set are also omitted i have already given you the question numbers of problem set 3 that are omitted as far as your chapter number 4 geometric construction is concerned from this chapter nothing is omitted there are two practice set and everything is very much there in the portion so you have to study everything from chapter number 4 as far as your chapter number 5 is concerned coordinate geometry direct now in your coordinate geometry the last part of the chapter that is directly come to page number 116 slope of line is omitted entire concept of slope of line so as you can see in the image over here you can strike out that then from page number 117 till page number 121 everything is omitted so you may strike out from page number 117 till page number 121 all the pages including 117 and 121 on your page number 122 top of the page question number 6 7 and 8 that is your last practice set is continued over here so the last three question that entire practice set is anyways omitted your last practice set of coordinate geometry because it is based on slope of a line okay so top of the page that question 6 7 8 are omitted then problem set number 5 in your mcq question number 1 fourth sub part that is omitted then your entire main question number 2 is omitted now actually speaking question number 2 of problem set should not have come in the omitted section reason is that over here as you know so as you know question number 2 of your problem set over there what they are saying is determine whether the given points are collinear as far as collinear points are concerned there are two methods to find out whether points are collinear or, or not one is by using your distance formula and second is by making use of slope formula now as far as your portion is concerned distance formula is very much there but slope is omitted so question number 2 actually it is written that it is omitted but 
please do that question by distance formula as it can be asked. Then on page number 123, top of the page, question number 9 and question number 10 is omitted. Then bottom of the page, last question, that is question number 22 is omitted. So if I want to summarize everything in this particular chapter, from this chapter, following concepts and related sums are omitted. Entire slope concept you are not having and hence your entire practice set 5.3 is omitted. Okay, let's go ahead. Trigonometry, from this chapter, nothing is omitted. You are expected to study everything from this chapter. Not even a single sum is omitted. Clear with this? Coming to the last chapter of your textbook, that is mensuration. Now over here, again towards the end of the chapter, you are having the omitted portion. Directly come to page number 156. From page number 156 till page number 159, you can omit everything. Okay, so you can strike out page number 156, 157, 158 and 159. Clear? Then on your page number 160, top of the page, it is a continuation of your practice set. Since that entire practice set is omitted, you can strike out question number 3, 4 and 5 as well. On page number 160, let's go ahead. On page number 161, the last question of your problem set, that is question number 10, is omitted. So if I want to summarize everything of your mensuration chapter, the part that is omitted is segment of a circle and its area and hence your entire practice set 7.4 gets omitted. Clear with this? This is the omit portion as far as your geometry is concerned. Whatever I have said is applicable only for those students who are going to appear for SSE board exam in March 2021. Is that clear? Okay. Thank you very much students for watching this video. If you like the content of this video, then do like the channel and subscribe our channel for all the latest updates. Very soon, I'll be back with more videos on this channel. Till then, tata bye bye.